So you got this latch that comes down. See this right here pulls the inside down, but it's got the fuel tank cut out from the top. So it makes it easier to access that fuel pump. And that fuel pump is from a, I believe it's a high pressure fuel pump. Um, and it's a, I believe Edelbrock is what he said it was. But that's the back end of it. But I'll tell you, this machine runs so dang good. And like I say, if I find that paper with the list of mods put on, I will send it to you. I know I have it somewhere in here. But anyway, here's the back. Open this up. So here's the back seat. We've got tons of stuff in here, so excuse me for a minute. Pop that. There's the beauty right there. And like I say, this thing runs phenomenal. And it's got a place where you can plug in your, um, it had on uh, this right here, you can hook it up to your phone and then you can change things on your ECU. Um, but that piece is an OBT, it's a, blue bluetooth that you can run from your phone and get like the temperature of the engine and all that all kinds of stuff you can do with it it's only got this one step and like i say this is a this is big those are 37 inches so you can kind of compare it with that dually back there to see it's it's not small. It's even got this custom welded cover. Like I say, there's tons of man hours put into this. That's a custom built back cover. And just check out those nice shocks it's got. Lots and lots of money has been put into this build. Lots of time, lots of man hours to get it to run this way. It's got a speedometer that right here you use. The one on the dash doesn't work, so I've got it hooked up. And this is on a cold start. It's fuel injection, so no gas. And then the key, when you start it, it starts right up. Just make sure that you turn it back just a little bit or it'll stick sometimes, so step back to get this uh there's the plug for the mile per hour but like i say this thing runs beautiful this thing has been built right Just hear that rumble, it's got headers on it. But it turns like a kitten. Just a neat old rig. You've been looking for something with a LS swap. bit of uh, body work and time and like I say I was gonna military green it make it look 
lights off, but power steering is really, really easy because it's on the old pump. So um, if you don't like how easy it is to turn this, um, there's a piece you can buy for that power steering pump to kind of put some more drag on it because right now you'll notice it's just there's so much pressure on those new Tahoe fuel pumps that it just makes steering easy. I love it, but some people don't like to steer that easy. I'll take you for a ride. Actually, I better go get my license plate out of my car. I'm a dealer here in Boise, Idaho. Like I say, I don't sell junk. So everything that I sell, I'll let you know everything about it. Or I'll at least let you know that these are all projects. All old cars are projects. No matter what someone says, there's always going to be something that you're going to find to work on. But mine are good projects. You won't probably have to do any... Um, motor or tranny or any kind of work like that but when I say work I'm talking uh, you know like you could fix the speed on on this the gas gauge works the coolant temperature works sometimes but it's got this one down here that does I think works we'll see if it gets warm but for the most part, all the gauges work. The blinkers don't work. Um, the CD player works. But I've got this little Speedo in here. Make sure you watch all my videos that I have on my listings. But I'm the owner of this classy autos over here in Boise, Idaho. So here's my store right here. Anyway, it's a cool old rig. It really is. With a couple more man hours, you could have the baddest suburban around. Brakes are right there. Like I say, you can kind of compare with other ones. This thing sits higher than most cars on the road, so it's a monster. But it's fun, I'll tell you that much. Shifts good, brakes work good. You can see straight down the road, it's not all over. Just a cool rig. probably going to need some new tires eventually but that's pretty much it it's a it's a fun toy so and I do have Bluetooth uh, blinkers um, if I can find them I will give them to you I was gonna add them on to this um, so I could just have blinkers but if I do find them they're yours if you end up taking this. I've got the Speedo working, uh, Bluetooth blinkers, and you're set to go. Um, horn also doesn't work. Uh, wipers do. But as you can see, it's, it's a driver. It runs great. And I think whoever gets it's gonna enjoy what's been done to it. These LS swaps are pretty good motors. They're uh, they're better on gas. They're they start up easier. You can do a lot to them. Like I say, you can plug this one into a computer and you can tune it more or whatever you want to do to it. But I think it runs perfect just the way it sits. And you can see even on get up, these are 37s. Seven 
it's, it still gets up and moves pretty good. Anyway, if there's anything that I missed or that you want to know, let me know. And like I said, I'll find that sheet full of mods. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure to watch both videos. Reverse. Reverse works great. I'm backing in right now to my parking spot so you can see that works. Anyway, like I said, if you're looking for a fun little toy to keep on taking further to the next level, I don't think you could beat this. Um, anyway, that's it and you have a great day.